Hey everyone, it's Darth Punk Fan 5 CP from Explosive Chainsaw. Here to do another rant like the My Little Pony one I did. I thought I'd do enough one because I kind of got really angry at people today. Talking about the iPhone 5. Okay, so first of, first of all, this year, what was announced at the Apple press conference was that thing that, you know, you did the Wi Fi sync and it was synced to your iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch like automatically and sent the same things or you can choose whatever without having to ever connect to iTunes which is some new software program which is it's pretty cool I, I, I'm pretty sure I would like it um, the other thing was asked was the iPhone 4S which is a smaller version of the iPhone 4 now you people pay attention to this but everyone's thinking an iPhone 5 is coming out and hasn't even been announced uh, it might probably won't even be called the iPhone 5 because just because the iPhone 4 was called the iPhone 4 doesn't mean the iPhone 5 is going to be called that. Because think about it, the iPhone 3 was the 3G. Well, it was actually the second one. But never mind, and the 3GS doesn't mean it's going to be four at the fourth one. They, they always change the product names differently. And people will always think about this. Like, think about it. The Xbox 360 is, gonna, is they're saying the next Xbox console in line is going to be Xbox 720. But think about it. They had originally Xbox, then they went to Xbox 360, instead of going to like the Xbox 2 or what normal people would usually do. So why would it be called Xbox 720? They'd probably call it something different again, which they most likely will because they always do. The, the, Microsoft will call it 720, until they announce the E3 it will have a different name. But people just don't give up on this stuff. They look on Google Images and they believe all these images. I mean, have you seen that like image of that PS4 controller where it had something like 10 analog sticks? So this is what really pissing me off. Everyone says this thing's going to have a mini projector on the phone. Now, one, that's just completely useless. You're not going to need a mini projector on a phone. Uh, an iPad, maybe. That'd be pretty good. With the phone, no. Oh, and people say oh, it'll be easier for business. If you're part of a business doing these kind of PowerPoint presentations, I believe you should probably have a computer with a projector. Because I believe that's kind of what you need to do these. I don't think the stand will go any lower than that. And besides, you're going to have to hold it up or stand it up on something and all this stuff. And now another thing is, I'm sure going to have a slide out keyboard. Okay. Fair enough, that might happen, because a lot of phones are doing that now. But now, they're saying those, like, you know, laser projection keyboards, it's going to have one of them projecting down the bottom. I'm like, it doesn't need it. And seriously, it's a touchscreen phone. It doesn't need all this stuff. No phone needs all this stuff. And, like, people are always wrong about this, and you can never predict it. I mean, think about it. And no one just seems to agree. It's just because I see something on Google Images, like, I go on Google Chrome now. I'll go into Google. I now look up something, like an iPhone 4 image, and I bet you I'm going to get a million different things. Oh, sorry, not. Did I say iPhone 4 image? I meant iPhone 5. Okay. <sighs> look, it even comes up with iPhone 5 rumors. Okay. So I got one that. Is not an iPhone 5 at all. That's actually one of the. Um, it's actually a fake MP3 player. One I've seen. I've he heard them before. There's one with a slide out keyboard. That looks exactly like the 4. That might happen. There's one that looks exactly like the 3G. That's that's just the um, original iPhone. That one with a huge square button at the bottom. Uh, the same one. That one which is thin as crap. Another one with a keyboard, but you can turn it around. It's got a bigger dock. Another uh, uh, something exactly in the iPhone 4, but with a different like different color on the back. Uh, this terrible looking one, and you know, uh, or like I know that could be it, but I really hope it's not. I doubt any of these would be true. And um, this one called the iPhone Pro with the same. Um, background is the iPad and the same spread out icons as the iPad which I doubt because Apple has a sense of individuality between each of their products they all look different 
in a way that will have a difference. Um, it's just a white iPhone 4. That's a cracked screen. Another iPhone 4. Cracked screen. A cracked screen. The one I saw earlier was just an iPhone 4 with a different color in the background. The keyboard one. A completely different looking one. One with an aerial on the top. One that's see through glass and somehow still has a screen. I like a Iron Man 2. Which we all know that kind of phone isn't going to come out for like 10 years. Probably not even. Like, the chance of them being able to, like, completely clear. And then not having, not being able to see any microchips on the inside or any cabling on the inside would just, you know. I'm far too hard. Um, a lot of other designs here. Heaps of them. So, I hope you can see my point. Uh, I think, you know, people checking this all so seriously. And I remember last year, when the iPhone 4 hadn't come out, and it was still kind of at the very beginning of the year, the iPhone 4G, or this could be the year before, correct me if I'm wrong, I, I might be. But, um, what I, find, what I found just so fucking funny. My friend, I'm not, I'm not kidding here, he thought the iPhone 4 was going to have a propeller on it. And he seriously believed it. So, have a think about it. It's obviously not going to have this mini projector and stuff. And if it does, I'll be wrong. But it's, you know, it's really doubtful. I mean, think about it. They, they never, what you think about like they, you know. Remember the PS3, the controller was going to be all weird and stuff like that. And then, you know, all these different concepts of all this photoshop crap and everyone thinks it's real and no one seems to get it. It's like this of everything but people just don't seem to get it. But anyway, thank you for listening to my rant I hope you agree with me so comment in the comment section below and tell me what you think.